Welding is the melting of metal pieces together to create a strong bond with precision. And mastering welding takes a lot of practice. You're gonna see some beginning welds here, but the more you practice, the better you will get. But you have to start with the basics. MIG welding is more accurately known as GMAW, or Gas Metal Arc Welding, GMAW. Uh, but we tend to say MIG welding, which means Metal Inert Gas Welding. But they're the same thing if you see them written down. Know your welder's parts. Your welding gun has a replaceable copper tip, and through the middle comes the wire, which is the anode in our uh, circuit here. The wire is fed through by this little motor, and your gas tank, which in this case is carbon dioxide, is sold separately. The ground clamp will connect to your workpiece, creating our circuit. The way it works is that wire feeds through the gun, as you can see here. Electricity then flows from that wire, which in this case is the anode, to the cathode of our circuit, which is the metal piece. That electricity melts the wire and part of the base too, creating a pool of molten metal that fuses everything together, while an inert gas shields this process from contamination. To get started, choose a piece that works well for a beginner weld. We're using this square tubing. We're gonna cut 45 degree angles on the ends and then join those together. Start by cleaning that weld joint and grinding or sanding down the edges for a good bond. Most welders have a chart that's included that will show you some good starting settings depending on your material that you're welding. But you're going to want to test some beads on scrap metal before you ever touch your real piece. To actually get started, you pull the trigger on the welding gun and then you want to move the tip in a very tight, small curl or zigzag pattern, kind of like a little cursive letter E but very small. You're trying to create a nice smooth pool of weld. You want to move this puddle along and trying to get it to move smoothly rather than skipping is definitely one of the big challenges. And what you're looking for in your finished piece is a smooth weld that doesn't have too much splatter. You can see a little bit of splatter marks there, those little dots, and we can work on getting that to be a little cleaner. And what you're listening for should be a continuous sparking sound like you're hearing now, not a real staccato deep, 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 deep. That means you're not making good contact. Then you can adjust your wire feed, the speed you're moving your gun, and the voltage settings if necessary before you start welding your actual piece. I would recommend tacking your piece in place first with small little tack welds like this to keep it from moving, and then going back and filling in the rest of the joint. And again, you're going to use those real small smooth motions to create that weld puddle that you can push or pull along to really join those two pieces together. And that's not bad. The cleaner your weld is, the less grinding and cleanup you have to do afterwards. The messier weld will require more cleanup at the end. Safety is obviously very important when it comes to welding. You always want to wear a welding helmet, gloves, and leather sleeves to protect yourself. If you don't have leathers, never wear synthetic fibers. Use cotton or something natural. You always want to wear closed-toed shoes to keep your toes safe, and you want to weld outdoors or in a well-ventilated area, and never weld galvanized metals because that emits toxic fumes. Good luck!